Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another 3D printing video. So let's get cracking. Now, friends, if you haven't been watching, I do all of my 3D printing down here in the basement. It is always moist, so guess what? It is time for us to try out a filament dryer. This one is created by Fix Dry. Friends, let's open it up and see what's in the box. As you can see, pack is super safe with all that foam, plastic bag. Of course, take care of that so the kids don't get into it. And check it out. This is the Fix Dry NT3 filament dryer. Got a display up here. We have got a dial. Down here, you can see they've got temperatures and stuff we should use. We can open it right back here to just lift that off. I'll set it right in front. Inside, we have got user manual and a chunk of Teflon too. If we just check out the construction real quick, as you can see, pretty sturdy rollers inside. Down here, we've got rubber feet. That'll help keep the grip. Right here, you can see the filament can't come out. No, look back there. You can also send the filament out the other side as well. Real quickly, they note, do not have it plugged in when you're not using it. Do not touch the heating hole to avoid scalding. When unattended, please cut off the power supply. The controls are super simple. We have got a humidity gauge and we have got a temperature button. Now friends, this page is the one that we're gonna use the most. We need to find our filament. Like I said, I'm using PETG. The number we're gonna set it at is 65 degrees and we need it to go greater than or equal to two hours. We are gonna conduct our test today with some really old pet G filament. It is from Hatchbox and it was donated to me a long time ago. I've already gotten through a ton of this reel, but it's gonna be interesting to see how it performs after we dry it out. All right, friends, so I have plugged it in. Right now we're gonna turn it on. If we go over here, you can see we've got our dials. Remember, I wanted to go to 65, so it's just a marking here on the side. Right now it's testing and it says my basement is 36 degrees humidity. Let's grab our filament and set it in. And simply put the cover in place. Now friends, it does not include a timer, so I'm gonna have to time that on my own. It's almost 10 o'clock, so I'll check back when it hits noon. Friends, a little bit more than two hours later, check it out, 10% humidity. All right, everybody, so I've got it plugged in over here with the Ming the Magician. Uh, I've got the filament coming through. I am gonna use the Teflon tube, so that is pushed through, and right now I am loading this filament. Once again, this is some old Pet G that was actually donated to me. And we're going to create some rings that quite often had stringing. That's a little bit of my old PLA coming out. And we've got this all lined up. I'll push this in in a moment. Let's get the print set up. All right, so there you can see it is all lined up. Of course, we click print and let's see what we get. So once again, this is extremely old Pet G that I was given. Uh, it usually strings a ton more than that. I always have to clean out the rings before I put them up on the stairs. And this is amazing. Everything about them is pretty darn slick. Of course, what I'm excited about is now that I've got this, I can also start honing my settings to see if I can get them to turn out even better. A few things to note about the system. Uh, using this, it actually 
pulled inside. So we had two things going on here. One, I've actually got a knot in this filament. Uh, so it was harder to come off the reel, yet they still printed fantastic, which is amazing. But this was pulled all the way in the entire time. So I think I'm going to have to build something so that it actually doesn't go through like that. I really like that this was still able to unload the filament despite me having that knot in there. Other things I like, super simple controls. Uh, love how it's just a simple knob that's less things to break. I do love that these numbers are down here on the bottom, but it doesn't have the time. So that would be a nice thing to have added. Another cool thing would be if this was backlit. Since I'm working in the basement, I can't see it unless I tilt it up towards a light. Friends, a quick look at the Fixed Drive official website. As you can see, they've got a limited time Black Friday offer. If we click over to page number two, you can see they've got the double NT1. Of course, it is on sale at the moment. On this page, we get a chance to see the one that we just checked out and another one that actually has a digital display with controls instead of the dials. I'm going to say once again, I love the simplicity of the dials. Finally, you can track down some sweet filament that is on sale as well. And on the very last page, triple colors and dual colors of 3D printer filament. New surprises are coming. How cool is that? Friends, of course, there are a ton of items that you can shop for at the Fixed Dry official site. I do also want to let you know that we have got a coupon code HL10 that you can use for all your purchases. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.